All right, time for your morning news now. You heard it this entire hour, snow is coming. Since we're expecting around a few inches of snow, the City of La Crosse putting alternate side parking into effect. So a reminder for drivers, on odd numbered days, park on the side of the road with odd numbered addresses. And on even numbered days, park on the side with even numbered addresses. Those rules stay in effect for the full snow emergency. And the city says they will notify the public six hours before a snow emergency is declared. You can get those notifications in your email, through text, or by keeping an eye on the city's social media pages. We have a link with how you can sign up for alerts at news8000.com. A quick reminder to check the bottom of your screen to see if your school has any delays or closings this morning. Your school superintendent is tasked with submitting up-to-date information to our school closings page on our website. And we take everything that's submitted there and put it on the bottom of your screen. So if you don't see your school either today or on future bad weather days, be sure to reach out to your school administrator to make sure they're submitting information to our station. A helpful tool to prep for your morning commute these days is 511wi.gov. The Wisconsin DOT is constantly updating it with road conditions across the state. This time of year, just click the box labeled winter road conditions and you can see what condition they're on in the moment. Black River Falls Rideshare Taxi Service has shut down. December 1st, Mobility Transformation Inc., the company that was operating the service, told city officials it would be shutting it down. According to City Administrator Brad Chown, that service was used by a large number of seniors and people with disabilities. We had about 20,000 rides that were given. Uh, in the past, 2019 was our peak. We were offering about 40,000 rides at that time. FDS Enterprises operated the taxi service previously. Chown says city officials have reached out to FDS and are hoping they will take over the service again. FDS Enterprises have agreed to negotiate with MTI and buy the company. MTI has verbally agreed, but that is still not official. You can catch the magic of the holiday season this weekend at Viterbo's Fine Arts Center. The La Crosse Dance Center's 33rd annual performance of the Nutcracker starts today with 95 cast members of all ages bringing the classic story to life. Work on each show begins in August and the director says it's been wonderful to watch. Because it's going to be just a huge expression of joy and it's so wonderful for everyone on stage and in the audience to come together and have shared the time in the space and share the story. Now, Balsamo says some of the dancing looks different this year, but it's the same familiar holiday story. If you'd like to see the show, you can buy tickets at the Turbo box office or online. We posted a link with more information at news8000.com. Bringing home happiness. The Cooley Region Humane Society and Best Friends Animal Society are teaming up for National Adoption Weekend. Starting today through December 18th, you can name your price for all kittens, cats, and dogs older than six months. The promotion also includes small animals like bunnies and guinea pigs. To participate in the event, you'll need to fill out an application and get approved. And snowy weather continues to move in across the Cooley region now as we speak. Visibilities are being reduced as that snow moves in as well. It looks like we start to see the snow end though as we head into the early afternoon. And then later today, the sky's just looking cloudy, highs around 35 degrees. Oh man, just waiting for that stuff to yeah. clear up. Thanks so much, Derek. And don't forget to keep up with the news of the day and the weather of the day on yeah. news8000.com. The first Warren weather app is going to be a big tool. 511wi.gov for traffic conditions. And of course, we will have the latest updates to the weather and news on News 8 Now at noon. That's Derek Sibley. I'm Ken Kozarowski saying thanks so much for joining us this morning. Have a great day and a great weekend.